It's time for another Debt Snowball update. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Kamika, and this is Well Balanced Wallet, where I help you create healthy money habits and live a life that you love on your current budget. Today, we're going to go over the November Debt Snowball update. We didn't do much of anything in November. We went on one trip in the beginning of the month to tailgate at a football game uh, with my husband's family, and it was a lot of fun, but that's the only place we went in November. I'm trying to think, but yeah, that's I think that's the only place that we went. Um, oh, we did go and see Black Panther 2 on opening weekend, and that was a lot of fun. We actually um, went to uh, the Sunday showing, and the theater wasn't crowded at all, so it was a really good experience, and we really enjoyed the movie. As far as the budget goes, we were under budget in a lot of our categories this month. We didn't spend all of our grocery money. We didn't spend all of our um, money for our internet bill because for some reason we got some sort of promotion. The electric bill was down. We didn't spend all of our uh, restaurant money. I think we did spend a good amount in miscellaneous, but we didn't go over budget in any categories in November. So it was a pretty good month. It was a pretty chill month. It's probably just preparing us for holiday season when we're going to spend a lot of money for Christmas, but we'll see how that goes. I can't think of anything else that happened budget wise. So this is probably gonna be a pretty short update. Uh, let's move on to the debt snowball portion. We paid our mortgage, which was $1,407.91. And then we also paid the extra principal payment of $169. And our remaining balance is $180,028.27. So we are shaving off months at the end of our loan. Um, who knows if we're even gonna be here for 30 years, but I'm excited to make the progress on our mortgage. Next up, we have medical expenses. So um, I think we spent a little over $200 to pay down um, some medical bills that we had, but we are preparing for a bigger medical bill in December. Um, I may talk more about it um, in the December debt snowball update, but we'll see how everything goes. So our goal right now is to just pile money into the medical expenses category so that we're ready whenever we start to receive bills from everything that we have going on. So we spent a little over $200 and then we got the medical expenses category back up to 500 and then our extra money in December is going to be split between medical expenses and um, our fun stuff and trips category because we are going somewhere for Christmas. So we're just gonna kind of split that, probably not 50-50. We'll probably put more towards the medical expenses than the fun stuff and trips category, um, but we'll see how it all plays out and I will update you guys on that part. And then the last thing we have is student loans. And we recently found out that the student loans are going to be paused until June of 2023 or 60 days after whenever they figure out whatever is gonna happen with the lawsuit. So it could be pushed all the way back until September or later in 2023, which is great for our budget. Um, so previously we had saved $131, I believe, in in my student loan category and in CARE's student loan category. Um, so I think I am going to take the money from both of those since we don't need it yet and move that to the medical expenses category just to kind of put a little bit of cushion there. Um, so yeah, I believe that's what I'm gonna do with the student loan category money and then we'll just have those categories back down to zero um, until we get closer to June. Okay, now for the savings portion of the video. We didn't add anything to our new car category in November. Um, and the reason why is because we're trying to add everything that we can to the medical expenses category. Um, so our current balance for our new car category is $6,100 and 91 cents. And it's probably gonna stay at that level um, through the end of the year. And then I am going to make some changes to our uh, savings goals and the way that our budget looks for the new year. So stay tuned for that. I'm, I think I'm going to make a video talking about the changes and showing you um, as I'm making the changes. And then I'll also have a budget with me video with the new budget. So 
that's gonna be exciting. I haven't changed up our budget like this in a very long time, um, but that's coming soon. I need to have a budget meeting with my husband to make sure that our goals align and make sure that he also has a say into the budget. Cause I know it looks like I do all the budgeting, but we kind of talk about, you know, what's coming up before I do my budget with me videos. So we're gonna have a budget meeting and figure out exactly what we want our budget to look like and what goals we want for 2023 so that's going to be super exciting but other than that i think that's all for this video leave a comment below and tell us how you did on your debt snowball in november and let us know what your debt payoff plans are for december be sure to give this video a like subscribe and click the link on your screen right now for more web balance wallet content see you there